Hey, this is Tamara and Co. signing on with some more of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. What's up, my dudes? <laughs> How's it going, dude? Okay, anyways, last time we we're still trying to get. Is the audio? Oh, wait, wrong head. for me. No, I got a bad headset. Okay. Uh, okay, you gave me the good one then, because it's both these years work. No, yeah. Anyway, so Kelp Forest was still stuck here. But after some, a half hour of like testing and looking up some guides, we think we found like a way through this. And uh, we're gonna make it extra entertaining for you. Because uh, God knows we need something cool after those caves. Yeah, so if I got the right, cause now I nailed it last time I tried, but now this is the first time I've tried in like an hour and a half. Oh yeah, I maybe should have given you a couple practice runs. No, it's good, I got this. Cause, uh, okay, so as you guys can see, um, <laughs> We're not going by the regular routes, and there's a reason for that. Because it's fun not to. Yeah, it's like, this is really twisty and windy with some alternate paths. And depending on how you do things... Yes! Hey, there okay. You go. And we think we found, like, a way... Like, look at this. Does this not just feel swag? No, yeah. I'm mad at myself for saying that. I, I, listen, I had gotten over that years ago. I had stopped saying swag. I said it ironically, like, you know, when it was still a thing. Right. And then I just got stuck saying it unironically for a very long time. And then I just said it just now. Shh. Okay. No, 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 sorry. No, that wasn't me shushing you. It was just me, like, grinding my teeth because I messed up. Oh, fair enough. No, you got this, dude. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so, like... Last, uh... This... Uh-oh, 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 oh! uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Wait, I'm sick! <laughs> Alright, so... I... Last, uh, last episode, we were talking about bad game design. This episode, I want to talk about good game design. Because this game, intentionally or otherwise, but I feel like it has to have been intentionally, they, uh, they left certain things open that, uh that make it much more fun to go through this. Of course, you can do it the normal route, and that's fine. But the option is available for you to make much harder jumps that seem just absurd. And in order to get through this, you have to clip through some, like, weird death planes. Yeah, like sometimes you hit a weed and then that's it, or you land on a rock. Yeah, so essentially you're just barely avoiding going out of bounds. But this is definitely updated from, like, what the original was. The original, you could just clip basically from the beginning to the end essentially and i really appreciate because like they had to have known that people would be doing stuff like this they had to have they had to plan against that you know the fact that they left these open still makes me so happy and because of that look at that hell yeah 47 seconds bam yeah, 47 seconds left on that it's almost half the time dude what <laughs> like oh my god and, <laughs> and that's we just got the spatula that unlocks the next stage. Yeah. Just from that. That makes me so happy. Well, now, that's some time you've gotten. Yeah, be God that old man. damn right. Yes, you could say I had that course flipped. Ew. Reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, man. I just realized it has Gladly. SpongeBob colors. Hmm? The... It has SpongeBob colors. Look, the handle is Oh, brown. yeah, you're right. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, now, obviously, I'm going to point out we didn't figure that out all on our own. Oh, we... yeah, yeah. Uh, most of those jumps were from uh, a YouTuber by the name of... Of? So, the first of all, that first major jump we do, that was Austin's idea, but yeah, I think he picked I, it up for I, someone. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I sight-read that. <laughs> but the other, but the other, the rest of that route was basically, like, point for point, contributed by... Douchemeyer. <laughs> <laughs> I never looked at his name. D O O S H M I R E. So, <laughs> thank you, Douchemeyer. <laughs> we got past your time with your help. Wait, I, I do want to see. Now I am the fastest time on you. <laughs> Probably not, but. I. Uh, I, I, I want to uh, try and see if I can find, like, what his time was on that. It was, like, almost. Yeah, the length of the video was, like like a minute exactly right but i want to see like oh he didn't do it with time never mind no yeah okay. he didn't so if you just go by the clock That's but it's still fun. like well i mean then we'd have to time ourselves but basically like the only difference was that one jump at the beginning that uh that i came up with and then uh tim perfected yeah okay there's one of the campers up there i think yeah 
I forgot there's more of this fucking stage. No, yeah, because we got to teleport back to Barnacle Boy, and, but we got to find the campers too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're missing like two. Let me just see if I can get to this one, and then maybe we'll just like move on. Okay. Yeah, we can do it in the cleanup episode as well. Yeah. But yeah, we didn't run through here with Patrick, so that's going to be important. We yeah. might be able to get them both in this area, actually. But yeah, that was fun to nail. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm telling you, there's a there's a certain appeal to speedrunning stuff. Like it, like you wouldn't think it because like there's an absurd amount of trial and error. Yeah, in which well, that you did. did it right, yo. Yeah, we were. Uh, it was about an hour and a half that we were playing. <laughs> well, it was that's not true. You got it significantly before that, and then I kept trying and it didn't work. We got it in like a half hour between that douchemeyer, sorry, um, douchemeyer, and then your strat. And there was something else you did, but yeah, between those two, it's like we found like a good system, and then we just spent another hour just like talking about random things from anime and everything to just more. I could have recorded it, but eh. it's it's fine. Some of those got a little bit. Well, I don't have a problem with being political. It's just depending on like how we phrase things. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Anyways. Yeah, but no, yeah, uh, it was a fun conversation. Yeah. Ranging well, from like Kingdom Hearts to oblivious um, shonen protagonists on romance and everything, it was fun. In the middle of and that, furries. of course, is... Yeah, oh yeah, we were talking about furries. <laughs> That's what started it, really. Yeah, well, I mean, we were talking about some video game stuff, and then... Uh, <laughs> I want to clarify, Oh yeah, we were... <laughs> no, I won't let you... <laughs> No, we were talking about, like, Star Fox and, like, its world building and its character designs. Yeah, and it was like, you know, or just, like, you know, just furry designs in general. I think, like, this is my personal opinion. I think that, uh, I think that furry designs can be very interesting because you're not limited to, I don't know. Oh, wait, I hit that already. You're not limited to just, like, you know, like, what a person looks like. You know, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, and it can be, you know, to serve whatever purpose you want for the character. Right. I think that's really interesting. The problem is I don't want to be associated with furry porn automatically. <laughs> well, there's more to it than that. It's not just the... I'm aware, but... What? I mean... It's the prevalent thing. That's I do literally this. what every person thinks of first. <laughs> Unless you're part of the community and you have, like, better experiences with it. Right. But also, I'd argue, it's not hard to see why, when there's so many characters in col pop culture and everything, that are made to be sexy. Excuse me? What? That, no, it's what we were talking about, like, Star Fox and Crystal. I was just throwing you under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, it's like, wait, no, we've been over this! Don't do this to me, man! Anyways, yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, okay, we at least found one. Screw it. Big old boobies sometimes. <laughs> and hey, it's not our. F well, never mind. Well, I mean, it's not our fault. We didn't design them. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't put those big old boobies on Rouge <laughs> the Bat. <laughs> By the way, but we're he's disturbingly but we're short. Enjoying the we're enjoying the fact that they're there. I, listen, man. <laughs> Anyways, we got Don't paint Boy. us both in a corner, man. <laughs> I just said there's a lot you can do with the aesthetics. That's as far as I went. Anyways, let's give Barnacle Boy his J.O. crystals. Oh yeah, dude. They're, they're nice and charged. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Is that what you want to call it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, uh, then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. What was he doing here to begin with? Take this golden spatula and go It bothers me that it's bent. Of course, boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, I sure can. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> the way how bashful he said all of that, it really does make me think that maybe actually worked. And goodbye. <laughs> I do love how, uh, like, Squidward and Barnacle Boy, they just, they just have no patience for Spongebob. No, I yeah. I appreciate that. A couple of socks left, a couple of camper, or camper. But, let's move on. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Dutchman's Graveyard, or that's, Blue Lagoon? That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Let's do the graveyard. Alrighty. Working at the graveyard. 
I don't know why that came to my head. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking like graveyard <laughs> shift, and then I was like, well, I mean, were you trying like to do that. that car wash song but yeah. with a graveyard? Yeah. Well, because you know, like it's like a bad shift you don't really necessarily want, but you, you're gonna do it to get, to get the money, right? I I shouldn't justify it because it's bad to begin with, and I acknowledge that. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, we're talking about furries for a while. And that's fine. <laughs> And then just like One Piece and Boruto. Boruto in general gets too much crap there. I said it, moving on. Yes, but the Gaiden though. I, okay, that's Naruto one. Naruto Gaiden. <laughs> Perhaps the worst written thing that I've ever read from like a respectable author. All right. You have anything to say about that? Not really. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> no, I like, hey, I'm not saying the Gaiden was all bad. And a lot of good moments, I feel. It might have had a couple. <laughs> but, I mean, if you look at it in general, there's so many bad things. <laughs> Ooh, I love how it's, like, more blue now here. Yeah. But, like, despite being a toxic area, it looks less toxic, which actually works. Yeah. Well, it's also very green, though. But, Something you know... does not feel right. It seems a little chunky. Yeah. He said the word yawn. I also love the Flying Dutchman. I forget who his voice actor is, but he's great. Yeah. I just love, just like he normally sounds like a salty sailor. No, oh, yeah, that's cool. I don't need any cookies, but I'm not a shell scout. I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. I forgot about that. <laughs> That is very sad, dude. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? No, get out and get all the spatulas and you're gone. Yeah, good luck with that one. Is that adorable hat available in a size three? No, but if you do this, a golden spatula be your boot. Oh yeah, one golden spatula. I don't know about that one. <laughs> do it or I'll eat your soul! Oh wait. Okay. Wow, they just took him out, almost. <laughs> All right. I was kind of hoping we could like shoot his um, oil bubble out of the air. Oh, you just missed. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. <clears throat> so here's a joke for you. All right, I'm listening. What be a pirate's favorite letter? R. No, it be C that we love. Right. <laughs> I heard that once, and I was like, yo, my expectations have been subverted. <laughs> and I just had to share it, and there was like just a moment of silence. I was like, all right, now's the time. <laughs> now or never. Best moment. Better open that box before I get too much farther. Top 10 SpongeBob <clears throat> moments. Number one was uh, when you finished up that slide. Number two, that joke. Number three, though. <laughs> has yet to come. Uh, yes. I can't think of any, like, super hype moments off the top of my head. Ah, uh, I got nothing. All right. I'm sure they exist. I just, you know, I put myself on the spot here. Maybe when, like, I ro at Sand Mountain, when I, like, rolled a bubble ball, it bounced off, like, two th different things and still hit a flying enemy. That was pretty sick. <laughs> and, like, it looked like it was about to pop, but then it didn't. Yeah. Also, can I just say, we're at 28,000 shiny objects. Hell yeah, us. Only... That was after you broke that. Yeah, only, f like, we're a fifth of the way there. Fourth? We're over a fourth. <laughs> we're not over. <clears throat> yeah, we, yeah, we're over. Oh, okay. Yo, so... Also, this music. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Dude, it's oh, so right, we good. It just, <clears throat> just breaks down. We've gotta shut that first before we can do that. But yeah, I, re I remember liking this level and also being frustrated by it. Yeah, I remember there was just like, overall, I liked it, but there was just like, moments that were just like, really tough to deal with. Yes. 
But this music is so good, dude. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, just seeing if there's anything around. <clears throat> You know, they had another, you know, we talked about, like, Spongebob games, there was this one, the movie game. Which was also... essentially just this game. <clears throat> yeah, but there was another, like, Spongebob, um, game, well, not kind of similar to this? Well, not really, because it was much more primitive, but the, um, what was, I can't remember what it was called. But there was Lights, another- camera pants. No, but that was fun, though. I never played it. It was kind of like Mario Party, but with, like, Spongebob, it was kind of fun. That's what I got from it, but- I remember it being fun anyways, I could be wrong. <clears throat> I remember it was super annoying though in the end. Maybe it was just like, maybe I just did things wrong. But I remember trying to like. Beat oh, you gotta the... lower the. No, yeah. I'm just thinking. Uh, but wait, is there something down there? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. I... Once you lower the goop, there is. Right, right, right. Spoilers. Uh... It's better to know about those poor hands. Yeah. Wait, anyway, wait. Uh, so there's a game that was like this, but much more primitive. Oh, <clears throat> there was uh, Spongebob, what was it, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman? Oh, I remember hearing about it, but I don't remember the game itself. Yeah, I played it a bunch, because it was like another Spongebob game, and it was kind of my substitute for not having, like, Bath or Bikini Bottom anymore. Okay. But it was very... it was a lot slower. Oh. It's kind of hard to explain, because I don't remember exactly how it played. Okay. But, like, what would happen... okay. <laughs> that was a weird phase. But what would happen is that you'd... Wait, am I supposed to... No. You're, I think you're supposed to move the pillars so that one of them slams into another one, and then that opens up the teleporty thing, or the, the bouncy thing for you. But I'm not sure where you want to go. Because all these have to do is move. Sometimes you gotta go where everybody knows your name. Okay, okay. <clears throat> we'll figure this out. But I don't remember how it played. I just remember, like, you got costumes, and then that would give you different abilities, per se. Okay. Like, you could get them, uh, you know, like, Mermaid Man costume, and then you could, like... Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, was that how you got the Bubble Bowl, or was that a different attack? I don't remember. I think it was Bubble Bowl. Oh, so it was, like, same engine and everything, then. No? Oh? Well, kind of, yes, but, it'll, again, it was just, like, a lot... worse looking, in general. Okay, so it was, like... Alphas? Kinda. Okay. I, I, it's trying not hard to remember off the top of my head, but yeah, That's it was fair. like very different. There was like, you got like a reef blower that you could um, move things around with. But also it was like, whenever you start a conversation with somebody, there was also this narrator that just like started speaking out of nowhere. Okay. Well. Anyways, there was this like narrator started, or that would talk out of nowhere. And whenever you talk to somebody, the music would just stop. Oh. That's not good. And everyone was just all, like, very, like, low energy, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now that I remember, I think, think they everyone actually... Everyone recorded their voice lines while hungover, kind of thing. A little bit. Oh. Although, I now remember, for crabs, they did get, actually get Camp Clancy Brown. Hey, How did nice. Revenge for the Flying Dutchman get oh. Clancy Brown and not I know why, game? actually. Oh, is it's there... because Clancy Brown was busy doing a role for... I want you to guess. He was doing a role... I know he's been in a lot of stuff. Like, he's a great voice actor. It's a video game. Okay. You know it. Trust me. You know it. Jack and Daxter? Yeah, Jack too. Really? Yeah, he couldn't play uh, for this one because he was doing Jack and Daxter. As Praxis? Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I like how he's I don't like... know what his excuse is for the <laughs> rehydrated. I don't think Jack 2 is still going. Uh, no. Yo, but what if Jack 4, though? I know, <laughs> right? No, there's no way. There's... God. Could you imagine <laughs> if they were, like, waiting for Jack 4 for them to do the remake to Spongebob? <laughs> it's like, oh damn it, two years in oh, a God, row we didn't I get Clancy. Do that again. No, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool, though. Also, holy shit, Mr. Krabs was Praxis. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I can hear it now in my head, but no, that yeah. just makes no sense to me. No, yeah, he was, uh, I thought he, he voiced more than just Praxis, I thought. I just played the damn thing. Like, I should replay it, That's It's game. tough. It's, like, it's pretty brutal at times, but it's still really good. Yeah, that's okay. The Jack and Daxter games in general, yeah. Dude, the, the first one, is, like, I'm, I can't believe I didn't finish the first one. Yeah. By the way, I need to get that back to you. Uh, no worries, I got a P the PS4 version. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, because they ported them over, and, you know... Also, I don't think you can play PS2 games. You, they... All right, wait, oh... <clears throat> wait, our PS3 works on for PS2, right? Uh, yeah. Actually, okay. I think I got them on the PS3 as well. Oh. The one we share, but yeah. it's By not... the way, I, 
I want that at some point, but not right now. No, yeah, I think it's, you know, back at my parents' place. Okay. Because I just, like, I had no reason to grab it because it really isn't working that great. Yeah, it's, it's got, like, a problem, like, reading games. Yeah, it won't read discs. It'll read on, you know, It read... sometimes does. Yeah, but last I checked, like, not very well. Yeah. But again, only sometimes, and maybe I was just having bad luck. I don't know. And then I was like, well, we could send it in to get it repaired, but then... It's also like... It's a PS3. Yeah. But no, um, PlayStation has like a couple of like PS2 games and PS1 games on PS4. Yep. It's like, very... Uh, Castlevania... Or... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have like... Yeah, like Thanks, right? Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Like the classic. Oh, almost. But then again, they had Symphony on the, on the, of the Night on there for like a uh, remaster... Well, not a remaster, but like a... Resale pack, you know, oh, with yeah. Rondo of Blood. Oh, okay. But no, they still had like PS2 games, like uh, the original Grand Theft Auto trilogy, uh, Manhunt. Uh, if only the Grand Theft Auto trilogy original was good. <laughs> Wait, like original trilogy is in like the two top down and then the first 3D game, right? Oh no, the first three 3D games. Oh, okay, so like Vice City 3 and uh, yes. The one that's actually good. San Andreas. Um, yes, yeah, okay. I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm no, right. in my opinion, the only good Grand Theft Auto games are San Andreas and uh, 5. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't play a lot of 4, but like, I don't know. Well, 3 four. and Vice City are like, no, yeah. they're ahead of their time, and by that I mean like, like, the execution is fucking terrible because it's a PS1 game, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Or PS2. Or no, no. No, no, they were PS1 at that point, I'm pretty sure. No, like, San Andreas was PS2. No, wait, no. It was 3 might have been PS1. Well, yeah, San Andreas was definitely PS2. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, no, yeah, no. Right. Uh, Vice City was early PS2. Yes? But no, I, yes, no, yes. They, it was PS2. But I, I, it was just horrible. Like, it was not... It did not uh, excite me to play them. Yeah, fair enough. And I don't know, maybe the story's good? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> no, I remember playing, like, San Andreas uh, a little bit on PS2. Yep. That's about oh, it. There's a spatula to do it with. That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there. You can tell it's not platinum. All right. Otherwise, there would be more quick time events that you'd have to die to get right. Oh, uh, no, yeah. Um, and what else? Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. And then I've played, like, a bunch of five, but the story mode? That's about, about it. Dude, five is so good. Yeah. The story mode. I couldn't tell you anything. Well, I will say they have some really interesting, like, custom modes for multiplayer. But also, I don't know. But it's also GTA multiplayer. Dude, I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's some good-ass Achievement Hunter videos. I know there is. It's just, well, that's for them to have fun with. I don't want to go near it. That's, yeah. Yeah, I really, like, lost a lot of respect for uh, Rockstar for what they're doing with Five. Yeah. And from the sounds of it, what they're doing with uh, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. And like, they have no intention of changing that for Six, apparently. Yeah. If, yeah, which they might have maybe just started working on recently. That, that was a weird double jump. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't know. A lot of, you know. No, yeah, a lot of lost respect for Rockstar. Then you find out about the owners, the Hauser brothers, which are just like some of the worst sounding people in the industry. And that's saying something considering the bad people we've got in the gaming industry. I hate how to like AAA games like goodwill is like an expendable resource yeah know? that just really bothers me oh yeah like you know speaking it, except no one's trying to earn it yeah they're just using up what they happen to have gotten yeah and then demanding more except regardless. nintendo nintendo can do no wrong it does a lot of wrong but well they don't yeah <laughs> they do good they've still done consistent. wrong but they're you know they're not bad in total anyways no, uh, I don't know, the things that they do wrong are out of stupidity, not malice or greed. Yeah. But their stupidity is pretty... Okay. Their stupidity... No! <laughs> jump. I need you to jump in the goo real quick, just to prove something to me. Okay. 
So, did I tell that story on this? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, I, I, about the whole Sandy thing. Yeah, the Sandy swimming. If they took out that animation, I'm going to be so mad. Also, I was wrong about you having to go out of your way for the goop, I guess, but... Okay. Alright, that was kind of... She, like, originally, I think she, like, tried to, like, back... Or, you know... Swim out? Yeah. Forward stroke, I guess. I Maybe it depends it. on the thing. No, I was going to well, say... No, this is in the goop, but, you know... Yeah. I remember being particularly brutal, and I was just like, I just wanted to make sure that was still there. Right. Because <laughs> also, I will point out, uh, we missed the sign because we didn't look at like the tutorial signs, but it was in the game where it says only Patrick and SpongeBob know how to do this. Huh. Yeah. So that's why I was on this whole crusade of like, oh, maybe she can swim in liquid. Maybe it's a secret. Whoops. But then I guess maybe the idea is it's toxic goop in here. Oh, that backs out. For some reason, I thought that just Yeah, stuck I thought you'd there. have to activate it. Oh well. Ah. Almost. Oh no, yeah, what was I gonna say? Like, yeah, the AAA industry likes to, like, burn their goodwill without having any. Like, the ESA! Who's that? The ESA, they're, like, the people behind the, um, you know, ESRB. Oh, okay. Like, the company that, um, they're the corporation that, uh, Basically, like they figure out the ratings. No, they're. It's more than that. They. Uh, I forgot you could do that. Got more uh, reasons to do that. No, they're the ones that basically like. Uh, there's a certain word I'm looking for, and it's just escaping me. But they. They're the ones that manage the AAA industry, basically. Okay. So like, yeah, they do the ESRB. They're the ones that basically do the self-regulating for the game industry, so the government doesn't have to. Okay. And they're really bad at self-regulating, like we've seen with like the big loot box craze in the last couple of years. Yeah. And on top of that, oh yeah, I forgot those guys made you slick after you get hit by their oil. Yep. I, I remember actually liking that. That was a cool detail. Yeah, it was uh, an extra level of challenge that I fucking hated. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Just imagine jumping on these while you're sauced. Uh, anyways, so yeah, they're the people that like like to proudly proclaim we are the AAA game industry, and they're the actually like the major company behind like E3 happening. Oh, okay. Which isn't happening this year for coronavirus oh. reasons. Yeah. And also would have been very bad to happen again after last year, and a couple of years technically before that, leaking over thousands of att E3 attendees' information. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Like, they just had, like, what was it? An Excel worksheet <laughs> that almost anyone could access if you just, like, find, like, a little thing in their website, which they were warned about for years but didn't do anything with. Oh, I love when that happens. Yeah. Don't pay people for that? Uh, sounds like the ESA doesn't pay well just in general. Well, I mean, like the rest of the game industry, anyways. Like any industry that doesn't have to, essentially. Basically. And yeah, the like, triple... If you don't have a union, you're probably getting shanked. Yeah. And the AAA industry certainly has its history of, like, not doing... working with unions. Oh, that's how Like fun. Gearbox! There was another thing I was going to say about the ESA. Uh, it was something specific we He's said. He's doing too fast. Yeah. It was a specific thing, and now I lost it. Uh, feels like you slide off that really quick. I thought you got stuck on it for a little bit longer than that. Yeah, it does seem a little weird. <laughs> Just execute him. Crap. There was a very specific thing I was going to say, and I just completely lost the thread. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, okay. Ah. Okay. Damn it. Alright. Maybe try jumping, like, towards the top of it. By the way, I remember this working out way smoother than I expected in the PS2 version. Yeah, it feels like you slide down too quick, so you... Whoops. Oh, what am I doing? Whoops. I mean, it was working. Oh, crap. Well, it didn't even start turning at that point. Yeah. Okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> it works. I mean, it works in my favor, but it's still like... 
Yeah, I guess it didn't work. Oh, you're taking him on a ballroom blitz, dude. Oh, crap. What am I... Okay. Wait, is that his health bar in his chest? Is it? Maybe. I don't know. We gotta check that out again. That'd be a cool might just be a detail, but... That'd be a cool detail, though. That was cool. true. Considering how much punishment he can take. Yeah. Oh, we're at time. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let's... Oh, yeah. We can go to the next area from here. Yeah, there was a certain thing I was gonna say about the ESA that they'd done recently, and it slipped my mind. Oh, well. I mean... We're already at the point where it's like, you know, it's, it's a business, not entertainment. Yeah. But they sure like to ruin entertainment with their business. Yeah. But, anyway, um... <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll continue with uh, this anti-video game talk while we play this video game. Hey, it's only... Well, again, I've had my rants about THQ Nordic, even they're not that good. Yeah. But I do enjoy their product for the most part. No, yeah, I love the Darksiders series, but they... As oh, I was just talking about Spongebob. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't yeah. know anything else they do. They do, they do Darksiders, which I love Darksiders, but God damn it, THQ Nordic. What are you doing? 8chan THQ Nordic... <laughs> With that all being said, thank you for watching. Hoping you the hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamar and Co. Signing off. Peace.